Hi and welcome. It's John Braddock, your host of Estate Planning Nightmares and How to Avoid Them. Well, good day, folks. Uh, Easter is upon us. Well, you know, the signs are everywhere. Many schools are off for spring break. The stores have all the cute bunny and Easter decoration and eggs for purchase, not to mention the jelly beans, malted milk balls, uh, those little yellow marshmallow peeps, and all the chocolate bunnies, some of which are hollow and some are solid. My personal preference, the solid ones. And I even saw M&M's has a very special mystery mix egg offering this year. The churches all have signage out front with their service times for Palm Sunday and, and Easter celebrations. But the biggest reminder of all hit me last evening. Michelle and I were getting ready uh, to prepare dinner. And so I turned the television on. And what do you think was on? Yep, the classic Cecil B. DeMille movie, The Ten Commandments, from 1956 with Yul Brenner, Charlton Heston, and Ann Baxter. I have no idea how many times I've seen this movie but it's a lot, easily 20 plus times in my life. And it struck me that back when I was a kid, the special effects were amazing. The parting of the Red Sea, the fiery tornado, which held back Ramses and his army of chariots, and the finger of God, which carved the Ten Commandments up on Mount Sinai. But wow, how far Hollywood has come with special effects over the last 60 some odd years, right? I can only imagine how amazing the effects would be today if they were to remake that movie. Hmm. It makes me think, who would be Moses? Perhaps Harrison Ford. I like Tom Cruise's Ramses, but there are several who could do it. But, but if Tom did it, he could do all his own stunts. Anyway, I digress. In thinking about the movie last night as it was playing in the background, I thought, wow, what about Ten Commandments for Estate Planning? So I would like to offer my version of what I think the Ten Commandments of estate planning are. Now, I certainly don't possess the ability to carve them in stone, but because of technology and what it is, I can at least speak them and they can be heard from anywhere, <laughs> as long as you're still listening to me. So here's my take. Number one, thou shall work with an estate planning attorney. Number two, thou shall create a will and or trust at the guidance of the estate planning attorney. Number three, thou shall have advance directives. Number four, thou shall review all beneficiary designations and update them accordingly. Number five, thou shall consider pre-planning for funeral arrangements and memorial services. Number six, thou shall consider long-term care options. Number seven, thou shall make a plan for all their digital identities, including social media, email, and online accounts. Number eight, thou shall create a list of everything owned and a list of all expenses. Number nine. Thou shall make a list of causes and charities of importance to them. Number 10, thou shall review and update this information on an annual basis. So there's the 10. But finally, I'm not trying to do the original writer, but I've added an 11th commandment, and it is. Thou shall ensure that someone else knows you have all this information and how to find it. So folks, plan ahead and make it a great day.